Hi, my name is Yash and I'm going to present the uh, DD Lab E2 part 1. So as you can see from the graph, when the input is low, the output is low and when it's high, the output is high. So we're going to demonstrate this on the, on the board. Noting that the clock module has been set to kilohertz and not hertz. So as you can see, when the switch is off, I'm not pressing anything, the output is zero. But when I press it longer, the output is 1, meaning when the input is 1, the output is 1. Thank you. And what is going on is, when you look at the graph, As from the curve, Q is zero in the beginning. So when it reach the reach the this point here, it will the Q become high, and then will continue un, until the next point here, and then will drop and become zero. And this process will going keep on going and going. And so, since Q not is inverse of Q. So we can we can imagine that our Q naught will be just inverse of this graph. Yes, uh, hello, I'm Shran. I will be explaining part three of the lab two. Uh, as you can see here, this is schematic for lab two, and this is the truth table for the the the, the counter map for the reload logic. Uh, the reload logic is the PE where it copies down the D, the D and uh, to up up to here. So I will be making the D all connected to ground, which is zero. So the logic for PE is that when uh, the counter, the Q1, Q2, reads uh, count as six, uh, the Q1 to Q is one, and it's at six, it will re it will reset. It will the, the PE will be low. And uh, the others like 0, 7 and all the others here is taken out, don't care. So the schematic is, uh, it will count then when everything here is high, uh, except for the D, it don't care. And then it will hold when either one of these is low. I will take one, one, uh, one of these is the starting button. And MR is the reset clear. Here is the schematic. So when I press, oh, when I spread, press the M, MR here, and then I press the count button, it will go as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, back to 0 again. When I release the start button, it will hold like this. And when I hold, it will start counting again. Okay, finish. I'll be explaining part 4 and 5 of the lab 2. So in part 4, it's uh, the, the reload logic and the schematic is the same as part 3, but then we have a, another logic for the appearance on the die. So based on this, we can know what, which number and which die like patterns will be up, will be up here when uh, it occurred in that number. So in here, it, this is the corner map for the uh, for the light patterns with A, B, C, D. Uh, as zero and seven are the pair, and the others are one and zero, according to this this table. So based on this, I know A is Q zero, B is Q two, and Q one. I use the the moratorium. I change it to the Corresponding NAND gate, and here I change the corresponding NOR gate. Corresponding NOR gate. So uh, here will be the result. Uh, the die phase is here. It will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and reset. That's all. And for part 5 is the combination of part 2. Part 
3 and part 4, it will show up here and here. So let's take a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, reset. And when I release this, it will still hold like this. Oh, that's all. Thank you.